the actual challenges that the utilities are facing. What are those challenges? How can we look at those challenges and put cost to those challenges? Because the okay, me, forgive my wait, skepticism. Wait, 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 wait. The alternative is what? Dumso electricity. The alternative is what? Lack of water. And even Gridco have also put in. They want 37%. If they don't get the kind of monies, are we going to be able to change our transition, okay, yeah, transmission a line? Are you telling me that when they went ahead with the town hall meetings for the E-Levy, the larger population of this country didn't say no, yet still it was implemented? In those town hall meetings, are you saying that a lot of Ghanaians who are opposed to it went? Uh, yes. The way they even looked, the way they even did it was wrong. They did the back to front. You don't take a policy to parliament first, and when it fails, you now come back to the people to ask them. But they still went You wonder. do it the other way round. You get, look, if government, and you see, this is the thing about the MPP, which I find they are smarter than all the other political parties. If they have an agenda, they start probably 10 years beforehand. Mm. You knew you wanted to do early when it came 2017. Why didn't you start then to sensitize people? Why didn't you? Why didn't you get people to understand where it was? Because a lot of the challenges of uh, E-Levy is understanding. And the way it's been done, for me, the way it's been done has what has frustrated me. It hasn't been done in the right way. They might, they might not agree with me. But you don't bring in such, such a policy and you don't want to talk to stakeholders mm -hmm. from the word go. Mm -hmm. It goes to parliament. When it now loses in parliament, you now come back no, to us. No, they say go and, uh, go and consult. So ah, uh, we've gone to consult. Why don't you consult first? Why don't you bring the people along first um, and get me, them I'm, to understand? I'm, I'm, I'm a bit skeptical about this one, the PURC. I'm, I'm a bit skeptical well, about this well, one. Because again, it it's, will not, the, the, the answers they'll get from the people will not change the fact that ECG has... Uh, overhead, <laughs> if you like, you know, cost. I mean, things to deal with. Otherwise, we'll be plunged. First, into first point. Look, you know something? And this is what I don't understand about government. Right. Uh, the renewable energy uh, law, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at this present moment, mm -hmm. what are we doing about renewable energy? There has to be a plan. Eh? When we look at the energy sector right now, there has to be a plan where we say we are gradually moving residential, which consumes quite a lot of our, our, our energy resource, our mm -hmm. power resource. Mm -hmm. We are gradually going to move residential onto solar. So from today, every building that is built should have a solar panel. Okay. From today, those that don't have, we find a way of getting them to also be, get solar on their on their roofs. What does that do? It frees up that conventional power. And that conventional power can be directed to the commercial sector where you can get much better returns than from the, the residential. Are we doing it? And that right now has been held because of the kind of IPPs that were signed mm -hmm. by the NDC government. Okay. So government has put an embargo on renewable energy. I and see. There, are solar, there are solar companies in Ghana today. Look, mm -hmm. I'll give a typical example. And I keep saying this. We have found tons of lithium in Mankesim. Okay. What is lithium for? Tell us. Batteries. Mm. Solar batteries. But we're don't going you to think, Don't you think we can be a hub for that today? Is it still there? Yeah, we've just discovered it. Okay, so can you bet that we might... We will, we will, we, let's bet. We, we are giving it to an Australian company to uh, exploit. <laughs> we haven't even started talking about it. <laughs> Oh, my Ghana. Well, that's how. And there's also a talk of the Minerals Income Investment Fund uh, says it is redesigning its strategy for listing its wholly owned subsidiary, a Jaffa royalties yes. on the land. They are bringing it back in December.